Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again. Thanks for joining me. Um, the last segment we finished up the Hobo Santas and now we've got a whole new uh, concept and idea that we're going to do. You see in front of me some tools that you're going to probably need for our next project. Uh, you'll need a 3 8 inch dowel. You will need the cork and I'll explain where you can get that in a second. You're going to need a 3 8 uh, 3 eighths of an inch uh, drill bit, um, the same thickness of whatever dowel you're using. And here we're using the 3 eighths inch dowel uh, for our project. And then you'll also need a coping saw or a hacksaw. What, both of these will do the same job. This will be a little tougher. I came up with the idea of putting uh, some, some tape on the end of the one end so that you can hang on to it to saw through the dowel when we start measuring. Or you can use a coping saw. Uh, this is nice in a sense you can just throw it in your toolbox and take it along. It's very portable versus the other one where it's a little bit big and bulky. So that's just a, a little added feature today um, that you may want to try. Uh, this concept if you're thinking of throwing it along and taking it along with you if you travel a lot. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're doing a bottle stopper and this is actually 5 eighths, I'm sorry, 5 eighths by 7 eighths by an inch and a quarter. That is the size of this with a 3 eighths of an inch a hole through the center. Now I bought these at Woodcrafters and they're 10 for 450, a little pricey, but you already have them pre-drilled. Actually, drilling through this stuff is not an easy venture, folks. I've been experimenting and buying a few things here and there, wondering how I can tell you would be the best way to do it. This is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Um, they have all different types of bottle stoppers at Woodcrafters, so you may want to check them out. They aren't the cheapest, but they do have anything that you might need. As you can see, uh, with the top of this wine bottle, and you notice it's empty, uh, uh, it has um, it, it has a nice snug fit to it. And here's one of the bottle stoppers, and this is not the one we're doing today, but this was my little farmer, John Deere farmer that I did some time ago, and it will fit nicely on there, okay, just like so. So this will be a nice little gift for people. Um, for Christmas time, if, if they like drinking wine, uh, a nice little uh, bottle stopper would be really nice to, to make for them. And that's what I plan on doing for a lot of my friends is giving them a bottle of wine and uh, a little stopper, bottle stopper. But what I'm going to use to make it more festive and part of the holiday season is to use our project of the pumpkin so you can go back and watch the pumpkin series on how to make one of these. There's five clips on this and I'll probably have it tacked on as a link on this video that you can go to it directly on YouTube itself. And we're, I'm going to show you how to put the holes, how to, how to attach everything together. That we can put this on top of a bottle and this will be my, uh, my, my thing for Christmas time this year uh, for some of my family and friends. And um, the other thing you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that you buy, get glue as well because we need the glue. Now most of them will use um, crazy glue. Uh, I will use uh, something like Elmer's glue that's safe. <coughs> Excuse me because I don't want any toxins, and toxins with it since we're dealing with food and with liquid. Um, items, but um, you know some of them will use um, uh, crazy glue. That is to totally up to you. I'm just going to put something safe as a glue on um, uh, when we start gluing this stuff together. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. We'll actually start drilling a hole through this, and I'll show you how to measure everything up, and we'll have a nice little project um, done. Okay, folks, thank you very much, and we'll be back.